Hello Brigitte, this is the GAF interface. You can uh, see if you open up GAFI or install in your computer, you can just uh, go over the steps. So if you open up GAF, you can go in the, in the file and then open uh, the file. Just look for the Dropbox folder. Uh, my Dropbox folder has your name on it, but uh, just look for GAF file, GAF folder, and look for the file clusters. They change a little bit the name for KQ Core 1200 to clusters. When you open up, you have the, 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 the file already with all the authors. And the authors has a freshman uh, distribution, so already painted with the clusters and the clusters points. If you check on the filters on the side, you can look for partition, and then click on the partition, and then look for uh, COMWD, which is Communities Weighted Degree. So you can filter the communities over the degree and try to find out a little bit more. If you click, for example, on the first one, which is cluster number 14, you can uh, check a little bit so how the distribution, so that's what we're going to show a little bit. But just uh, before we change, I'm going to change a little bit here the, the background so it makes a bit more sense. With uh, this new background, we just go back to the clusters and then uh, try to filter. So the first one is the 14 clusters. You can see from the top right in the screen that's 1,636 uh, nodes. You can see that some nodes are very uh, well connected, but the, the cluster 14 is very spread around. Cluster 12 is the next one that has 906 nodes. It's also very spread, but less spread than the 14. So the 14 and 12 is uh, two clusters that we have to take care of or, or take a closer look. Next one is cluster 2. You can see that it's much more dense and uh, uh, under one connection. And then all the, the next clusters that have the same latitude, the same formation. Next, uh, the next clusters we have is cluster 9 and then cluster 8. And then you see they are much more centralized and much more uh, coised than the, the first 12, 14 and 12 that we're going to take a look in a different way. So you're going to go over every single clusters in here. See the next ones like uh, uh, very spread, cluster number 10. So it's spread around but centralized. I don't know, they have different connections. And then the next one is very uh, dumped out. You can take a look uh, slowly. Then you have a next connection again. You can check 319 nodes for each one. And then it goes down to 185. The number of the cluster is on the, the, the number of the, the box. I'm clicking on it. So they have different formations and how they look like. Remember that I use freshman distribution and they are more centralized, more peripheric, depending on, on their position with the other nodes and how they are connected. So this one is very, very on the side. So let's see how they are distributed. You can just take a look on it. So it's nice. Nice to see it, have an understanding, an idea. So you can just go over and see it you can just slow down the video if you want it later on now they have uh, the next one i have to change back the color because of the the, the background uh, these ones i had put the, the nodes into different colors so this is the node 19 so you see that's very spread so when they did the clusterization somehow i don't know the clusterization algorithm separate a little bit so these ones are, are clusters very small this one is a very interesting cluster that's cluster number six and it has someone that's very central can look who it is and end up being Beverly which is one of the biggest authors but they not end up in a cluster with other people so they have different formations and number of clusters and so on and so forth now we have just the, the last ones and I have three clusters that have just one folder or, or and this is another file yeah, you can open up. It uh, looks into the dynamics so clusters dynamics. You can uh, take a look again. Open up and then just made it uh, a new uh, change it a little bit the names. So if the cluster dynamics, what we're looking for, it's already open. Uh, we're looking just for some of the clusters and uh, just the big ones and see how they they are spread out over the years. Uh, here we're looking into clusters fourteen and twelve. Right, and uh, to look again into to the clusters, you go to the dynamics, and then you bring down. It's already down here. I'm just showing how you you can do it if you uh, open up the file and want to play around a little bit. You can go to attributes, get partition, and then under the the dynamics, you put it in as a 
uh, uh, drag new filter so you can just put filter over filter so I, I have the dynamics and then the filter of the uh, for each cluster so you can just play around and then put any filter and you can try. so in this case here we have clusters 14 and 12 which is the biggest one I told you but the the most spread around and then uh, here we have all the the, the, the years uh, as a four year uh, spread so I'm trying to get of the four year spread in here so now you can see that you don't have so many and then if you just uh, you can set the players a little bit to see if it goes lower or, or faster so you can you know, check it out later uh, so this you can see in case of uh, clusters 12 and 14 they are very separated uh, the years are very different so uh, you can see you have new altars coming up for every every uh, period of year. So the, when they change now, that's a new uh, group coming up. The group in the bottom over here tends to be in the beginning, the next, uh, in the first uh, four periods, but then it disappears. So uh, they are on these clusters. They are very spread and not only spread, but they are throughout the time. They have different uh, different people. So if you do run the algorithm using time frame and uh, and the number of uh, publications that we have used before so we might have a different uh, formation for the clusters so you can see if you just look into uh, every year they have different uh, nodes coming up so uh, out of the k-core for those 12 and 14 they are quite uh, quite different now uh, we can take a look again uh, go back and see the how they are spread but again for in this case of for cluster 12 and 14 they are quite different uh, the nodes over each period they are pretty much uh, new nodes and different nodes okay um, this is now the same file but with different uh, clusters now using uh, six of the clusters of the big clusters without the 12 and the 14 again use the same uh, the same uh, algorithm for for filtering so now we're putting the time and see how the difference is coming in. So all the clusters, you can see a little bit uh, what's the difference. But in all the six clusters, so you kind of uh, mess it up. You see, you see that the yellow one or the, the purple one and on the, on the top and left, they remain the same and the light blue, they kind of remain very central. We're going to take a look at this on those separate. So those are the different years you see they have uh, many uh, less authors on this period again this is just the k-core so the green they have a different uh, move we can talk about that also they have some players but they kind of move towards the bright and the red goes on and off a little bit and the blue is kind of different dark blue now we're looking into the the clusters of just three of them three that suppose uh, remain the same so this is the first uh, the first period from 1981 to 1984. So now they change and see they have uh, very centralized or, or very core people that uh, uh, hold together and the clusters or, or the, the people so that makes sense. So the, the light blue in the bottom and the yellow and the purple. The purple kind of diminish so the, the cluster is kind of uh, having less people towards uh, the time, the time is going on. So uh, this is nice to, to see it and see what they've been using and where they went or what happened. Again, uh, this is the K-Core, it's not the, the whole, so might be a lot of people still working, but just not uh, centralized, or just not as important as they were before. Um, so now we can take a look. So this is the end, we have no more. So now we can take a look on the, on the other three clusters. They're quite different, they have different uh, uh, performance so you see the blue in the bottom they are very spread a little bit the red and then the green you have uh, two different groups then the green go crazy a bit and they have the, the group on the middle goes uh, more strong you have the red and then the blue kind of stay the same but they're kind of spread it out so the the green is very uh, group in the middle very strong and then you have a strong group or coming in on the right and that's towards the year so it makes a big difference now so you see how it looks like so the, the blue is like the cluster is getting less people and less people it seems that the greens growing stronger to have more people towards the end 